Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Happy New Year po. Ngayon po ay uh, January 4, 2022 na. Bagong taon na. Ngayong araw, samahan niyo po ako. Ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Standard Specification for Carbon Structural Steel in ESTM E36. Ito po ang designation niya sa ESTM is E36. Ito po ang kadalasan natin ginagamit sa mga steel bridges, steel roofing ng bahay, steel truss, at saka steel platform. Ito po ang kadalasan natin. Ito ang halimbawa, hot rolled steel plate, steel checkered plate, steel angle, or and steel edge or eye beam. Ito po ang mga carbon structural steel na halimbawa. Number one, ang scope ng uh, topic na ito, ito, these specifications covers carbon steel ships, plates, and bars of structural quality for use in riveted, vaulted, vaulted or welded construction of bridges and buildings, and for general structural purposes. Supplementary requirements are provided for use where additional testing or additional restrictions are required by the purchaser. Such requirements apply only when specified in the purchase order. When the steel is to be welded, a welding procedure suitable for the grid of steel and intended use or services is to be utilized. For more uh, details, please see Appendix X3 of specification E6 for information on weldability. Doon yung makikita ang mga klase at saka informasyon ng pagbi-welding. The values stated in either inch pound units or SI units are to be regarded separately as standard. Within the text, the SI units are shown in brackets. The values stated in it, in its system are not exact equivalent. Therefore, each system is to be independently of the other without combining values in any way. The text of this specification contains notes or footnotes or both that provide explanatory material. Such notes and footnotes excluding those in tables are and figures do not contain any mandatory requirements. For structural products produced from coil and furnished without heat treatment or with stress relieving only, the additional requirements including additional testing requirements and the reporting of additional test results of E6 apply. So, nangangailangan po ng mga additional test result kung ang uh, material or raw material galing pa sa coil na walang heat treatment or walang stress relieving number two reference documents so these are the ESTM standards related to this uh, structural uh, steel ESTM E6, the specification for general requirements for rolled structural steel bars, plates, sieves, and seat piling. ESTM E27, a specification for steel castings, carbon for general application. ESTM E307, the specification for carbon steel bolts and studs on 60,000 PSI tin sail strength. ESTM E325 specification for high strength bolt for structural steel joints. ESTM E325 specification for high strength bolts for structural steel joint symmetric. ESTM E500 specification for cooled form welded and seamless carbon steel structural tubing in rounds and shapes. Usually this uh, ito po ang mga steel tube or mga steel pipe ginagamit natin na pwede rin natin magamit ito sa mga firefighting this firefighting uh, waterline 
ESTEM E501 specification for hot form welded and seamless carbon steel structural tubing. ESTEM E502 specification for steel structural rivets. ESTEM E563 specification for carbon and alloy steel nuts in metric. ESTEM E1011 specification for steel sheet and strip carbon hot rolled high strength low alloy and high low alloy with improved formability a specific ISTM E668 a specification for steel forgings carbon and alloy for general industrial use STM E568 a specification for carbon and alloy steel externally treated metric fasteners yung mga board ito, ito yun po Tandaan niyo po ito po ang mga specification na pwede niyo hanapin kung kayo ay maghahanap sa mga tensile strength at saka mga chemical requirements ng mga materials related to carbon structural steel. Appurtenant materials when kung in table 1 Portinate materials specification Material steel rivets The designation niyan ng sa ESTM is ESTM E502 grade 1 For bolts ESTM E307 grade E or F568 class 4.6 Actually doon sa ESTM E307 Maraming mga grade doon na pwede nyo papagpilian Depende sa project specification nyo Kung ano ang nilalagay doon sa specification nyo For high strength bolts ESTM E325 or E325M For steel nuts ESTM E563 or 563M Cast steel ESTM E27 grade 65 to 35 Or 450 to 240 megapascals forging or carbon steel ESTM E668 class D for hot rolled sheets and strip ESTM E1011 grade 36 or 250 megapascals type type 1 or type 2 or E1018 E1018M grade 36 or 250 megapascals cold form tub tubing ESTM E500 grid B for hot form tubing ESTM E501 for anchor, anchor bolts ESTM E1554 ito po lahat ang mga standard na pwede nyo magamit kung kayo ay maghahanap ng mga specification tungkol sa nabanggit nating uh, materials related to carbon structural steel ESTM 36 General requirements for delivery Structural products furnished under this specification shall conform to the requirements of the current edition of specification E6 for a specific structural product ordered unless a conflict exists in which case this specification shall prevail okay coils are excluded from qualification to this specification until they are processed into a finished structural product the structural products produced from coil means structural products that have been cut to individual lengths from coil the processor directly controls or is responsible for the operations involved in the processing of a coil into a finished structural product. Such operations include decoiling, leveling or straightening, hot forming or cold forming if applicable, cutting the length, testing, inspection, conditioning, head treatment if applicable, packaging, marking, loading for shipment and certification. These are the examples of a uh, coil. Ibig sabihin, yung mga raw material na, 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 nasa coil pa, 
pag hindi pa yan naging cut into pieces or length, hindi pa yan makukonsidered na bilong siya doon dito sa specification nito na ASTM 836. Unless kung finished product na siya, uh, cut into length, so covered na siya dito sa specification nito. Bearing plates. Unless otherwise specified, plates used as bearing plates for bridges shall be subjected to mechanical test and shall conform to the tensile requirements of Section 8. Mamaya makikita natin ang mga requirements ng Section 8. Ito po ang example ng bearing plate na inaano natin sa mga tulay. Ito po ang mga ginagawa namin mga ganito ang ginagawa namin sa mga bridges naming project. Unless otherwise specified, mechanical test shall not be required for plates over 1.5 inch or 40 mm in thickness used as bearing plate in structural other than bridges. So, no, 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 hindi na kailangan. Subject to the requirement that they shall contain 0.20 to 0.30% carbon by heat analysis. But mayroong kondisyon. Kailangan ang chemical requirements niya, ang carbon niya ay 0.20 to 0.3% of heat analysis. That the chemical composition shall conform to the requirements of table 2 in phosphorus and sulfur content and that a sufficient discard be made to secure some plates. Materials and manufacture. The steel for plates and bars over 1.5 inch or 12.5 mm in thickness and shapes other than group 1 shall be semi-killed or killed. Pag sinabing semi-killed or killed, parang ano na siya, uh, treated. Treated na siya. Chemical composition. The heat analysis shall conform to the requirements prescribed in Table 2 except as specified in 5.2. The steel shall conform on product analysis to the requirements prescribed in Table 2 subject to the product analysis tolerances in specification E6 or E6M metric. Table 2, chemical requirements. Ito po ang mga requirements ng chemical sa carbon structural steel ESTM 836. Carbon, manganese, phosphorus, sulfur, silicon, copper. Ito po, mayroon dito ang plate. Ships, in all ships, ito ang requirements niya. Carbon, manganese, carbon, in all ships, carbon maximum, kailangan maximum 0.26%, hindi nalalampas. For, for manganese, wala siyang requirements. For phosphorus, kailangan 0.04% maximum only. For sulfur, 0.05% maximum. For silicon, 0.4% maximum. For copper, minimum. Kailangan 0.20% minimum lang siya. Pag dito naman sa plate, plate na ang pinag-uusapan natin. Depende sa mga thickness yan, ito. 20mm, ito ang mga requirements niya. Carbon, 0.25% anganis wala phosphorus 0.04 pag over na siya over 3/4 to 1 and 1 half inch or 20 to 240 mm dito pag ito na ang thickness ng plate dito kayo titingin sa mga requirements okay pag over 1 and 1 half to 2 to 2 and 2 and half inches o 40 to 65 mm na plate ang thickness dito kayo sa column na ito titingin ito ang mga requirements dito kayo makakapag uh, evaluate ng materials kung pasado ba siya sa standard na specification ng chemical requirements ng E36 pag over 2.5 to 4 inches 65 to 100 inches ah uh, im im sorry dito po ang requirements ng column na ito Pag over 4 inches or over 100 mm ang thickness, dito kayo titingin sa kolom na ito. Pag bars naman, angle bar, 
square bar lahat dito kayo titingin pag ang size niya is 20mm ito po ang requirements pag ang size niya 3 4 to 1 and 1 half inch 20 to 40mm ito po ang requirements pag over 1 and 1 half to 4 inches or 4 or 100mm dito po ang requirements sa kulong na ito pag over 100 mm or over 4 inches dito po ang requirements so lahat po ito ito po ang chemical requirements ang standard na requirements ng carbon structural steel ESTM 836 sa baba mayroon pa dito mga footnote timbawa E manganese content of 0.85 to 135% and silicone content of 0.10 to 0.4% is required for ships with planks thickness over 75 mm. For B, but not for its reduction of 0.01 percentage point below the specified carbon maximum and increase of 0.06% point manganese above the specified maximum will be permitted up to the maximum of 1.35% so ito po ang mga conditions okay tension test katapos naman ng chemical uh, uh, properties mayroon yan mga tension test physical or uh, uh, mechanical properties the material as represented by the test specimen except as specified in 5.2 and 8.2 shall conform to the requirements as to the tensile properties prescribed in table 3 ito po ang table 3 ang tensile requirements kanina ang chemical requirements yun ito po ang tensile requirements or mechanical properties ito po ang mga requirements nya for plates, ships, and bars, ang tensile strength niya, ito dalawang unit ito ang pinapakita. Yung kilopound per square inch or KSI or yung megapascal. Ang tensile strength niya, pag uh, kilopounds per square inch, 58 to 80. Ito po ang requirements, ang ranges niya, 58 to 80 KSI. Ito naman naka bracket is in megapascals. 400 to 550 megapascals. Yun po ang tensile strength. Ang yield point naman minimum 36 kilopound or kilopound per square inch or KSI or 250 megapascals. Pag plates and bars naman Ang elongation niya in 8 inches or 200 mm minimum is 20%. Elongation naman in 2 inches or 50 mm minimum is 23. Pag ships naman, ang elongation niya 8 inches or 200 mm, the minimum is in 20%. Pag ang elongation niya in 2 inches or 50 mm, the minimum is 21%. Ito po lahat ang mga tensile requirements ng ESTM 836, the carbon structural steel. Halimbawa, kung kayo mag evaluate ng materials, dito po kayo titingin. Ito po ang references nyo. Kung babagsak siya or hindi siya standard na materials. Base yan sa mga test result na makukuha nyo. Kasi pag dumarating ang materials, siyempre kukuha kayo ng mga samples or a specimen, dadalhin nyo sa laboratory, doon nyo ipapatest yan. Tapos, ito naman ang mag-evaluate kayo base dito sa standard requirements. Okay? Diyan po, nagtatapos ang ating topic ngayong araw. Thanks for watching and God bless.